good, I'm coming. You got me, I'm good, I'm good. Tell her to pay us. Tell her to pay us and then she can go. Ten bucks each. Let's do what they say, man. You'll be out soon. Do it again, though. People get murdered when their identities are posted online. It's a tragedy, y'all. It's seven lives. It uh, clearly was uh, aggressive violence. You suck. You suck. Fuck you. Fuck you. You're not wanted. Fuck you. You're you're a fucking idiot. You're a fucking. I don't idiot. know what to say. Fuck I guess you. these police officers Fuck are mostly you. indoctrinated as well. Here, they're afraid of the mob. Because you're a fucking I think, idiot. I think they're afraid you. that Fuck if they you. do anything to Fuck actually you. keep Fuck law and order, you. that Fuck you. they'll end up you. being Fuck on the you. end of this verbal Fuck abuse. You. So it's just cowardice from everybody all around. People probably want to know how do you keep your composure? Fuck you! What's up? How do you keep your composure? Fuck you! 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 Hey! Best not to incite violence right now. <laughs> oh my gosh. So let me get this straight. You doing your job right and now finding I'm a guy keeping, who assaulted right me is inciting here. violence. Okay. So you're going to do nothing so that that person can go home and then nothing will come of this, correct? Hey everybody, welcome back to Comic Crow. And uh, it's been a little bit, uh, I had to get some dental work done. It's been a little bit difficult to talk and everything. Uh, however, I, I saw this situation going down with a YouTuber known as Sunny V2 when he dropped a, a very lukewarm, tepid take, uh, a, a commentary video of which there are probably th millions or thousands, if not millions, uh, all over the platform that have far more absurd hot takes than anything that's presented in this video. And yet I I've seen all over Twitter, uh, people screaming transphobe, bigot. I saw Mr. Beast jump on it too. Uh, in fact, this is a YouTuber that I actually really like, uh, uh, Dude in a Room. He's, he's, a, he's a One Piece guy. And, and he even did a video talking about how this was the worst video he's seen on YouTube. And in my head, I'm going like, dude, Mr. Girl still uploads to this platform. Like, what crack are you on? But you're probably wondering what was with the uh, intro for the video. And I, I want to show you uh, events that uh, uh, have gotten increasingly violent in which none of the authority figures are willing to actually punish the perpetrators. So there was the attack on Riley Gaines in which the uh, SFSU president came out in support of the people that attacked her um, and claimed that her being there was just so deeply traumatic, right? So essentially she deserved it. Um, you, you had the attack on, on Billboard Chris uh, in which the Vancouver police not only stood around and watched him uh, get attacked, but this was after he had reported that he had already been assaulted and those same police refused to do anything about it. I mean, we, we can go back to events that have taken place in New York where, where women try to speak out against the the dominating of their spaces by biological males or, or trans women, whichever terminology you would like to use, feel free. But when that happened, the, the trans people and their allies showed up and attacked the speakers and shut down the events. In fact, this has happened multiple times now. And yet each and every instance of it occurring, we do fuck all to demand any level of accountability any level whatsoever. In fact, look at what happened in Tennessee. Now, I'm not, I'm not so insane that I would ever try to imply that the, uh, the, the, the shooter, Audrey Hale, is a representation of every single trans person. However, when at the Capitol, they show up and storm the building, uh, screaming for trans rights and gun control, and then hold up seven fingers because Audrey Hale was also a victim there. 
Um, when I see a, a trans pastor at a church give a sermon in which they say that this person is just like Jesus Christ on the cross, it, it's become abundantly clear to me that nobody, whether they are right-wing transphobes or super far-left progressive allies, actually treats a transgender individual like a regular human being. C case in point would be the reaction to this video. This is the most lukewarm, tepid take on any situation that I have seen. Okay, it is it is incredibly, incredibly soft. In fact, the worst thing about this video that you could actually point to is the title. That's it. And and look, you could say, well, the title is 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 meant to provoke a reaction. Yeah, no shit. It's called a title for a YouTube video, so you click on it. And it's not like Sunny B2 tried to bury the lead in this video. Um, this is this is the first eight seconds of this video. So it is literally impossible for people to have missed this if they watched it. It could become a complete disaster for Mr. Beast brand. However, it may also provide some unique benefits. Oh, wow. L literally eight seconds. Okay, people, you see that there? Eight seconds into the video. He clarifies it could be a disaster or it could also provide some unique benefits. How is... How, I... I, I here, here, here's what happened. He uploaded a video talking about how Mr. Beast has one of his friends who is regularly doing content on the, on the channel, uh, how they've just transitioned, and how it could negatively impact Mr. Beast and his brand. He provides examples of it. Uh, however, he also provides examples in the video of people being positive about the change. So I, I'm really struggling to understand here. It is the problem that when he uploaded the video, he wasn't fully in fucking support of Chris? Is it that he didn't get on his hands and knees and, and literally start kissing the dude's toes? And yeah, I know Chris goes by any pronoun. So dude, he, him, I, I'm not even going to play these games. Seriously, explain it to me. Is, is he supposed to not do a commentary video on Mr. Beast, one of the largest YouTubers on the platform? Is he not supposed to talk about a situation in which his audience is noticing this change and there is backlash going on? Is, or, or is he supposed to acknowledge it, but call them all right-wing transphobic bigots? Wh which solution do you actually need here? Because this is not the worst video. He doesn't even give a strong opinion on anything. Please explain it to me in a way that doesn't make you sound objectively brain rotted. Now, to be clear, the, the first couple of minutes here are quite literally just going over a timeline of when people started to notice the change in Chris, their reactions to that change in Chris leading up to his eventual uh, uh, actual transitioning, where it became very clear and abundant. That's what was going on and even his announcement and how it correlates to a very significant event in his life. Carl had turned him gay. Now, this was pretty ridiculous as Carl isn't even that feminine and Chris had come out as bisexual years before he and Carl had even met. The true catalyst for Chris Tyson's feminization instead seemed to have come from his marriage. In January 2022, Chris would post a photo with his wife to his Instagram, yet after this, the family photo stopped altogether. Fans also noticed Noticed that he'd removed his wedding ring, with the ring's absence correlating perfectly with the very first post in which he'd painted his nails. Chris confirmed the split in a post from March 2023, reading, For a little over a year now, me and Katie have been separated, with this also confirming that Chris's transformation began as soon as his marriage came to an end. Chris went from lighting campfires and raising a family with his beautiful wife to now trying to be a wife with his man buns and long nails. Now, I actually can understand the confusion here, all right? In which, uh, because he brings up the fact that Chris and his wife are separated, uh, people got this uh, sort of idea that Sonny B2 maybe was trying to push the idea that he had abandoned his family and everything. He does later on show people from Mr. Beast community leaving those comments to Mr. Beast and dropping those comments 
on Twitter about Mr. Beast and Chris. So it doesn't really come from Sunny V2. This was already a conversation. However, I actually want to highlight that. The, the, the fact of the matter is, based on, based on the timeline that is available to the public, we don't actually know what's going on behind the scenes, just to be very clear. But on the timelines prevent, presented to the public, Chris was a normal person, right? A normal dude. Um, around the time in which him and his wife get separated, Chris then starts to transition. Now, now maybe you could argue that, well, this is just how Chris has felt his entire life and, you know, it took him a while to be able to accept it, come to terms, come out and everything. And, and that could all be objectively true. However, Chris's wife and him also got separated. His, his entire situation changed. And I, I've known much, much stronger men Okay, stronger men than me even, who have completely broken down into basically being invalids when their wife leaves them, or even when their girlfriend leaves them. All right, it's it it actually fucks with dudes. It it really does. Like people say, men are not emotional. Man, I'll be real with you guys. If if my wife were to ever just leave me, I I don't actually know how I would react. OK, it's it's such a it's such a foreign concept to me. And it's so overtly scary to me that one day she could just be gone that I, I, I'd i probably be fucking crippled, like like emotionally, mentally, I would just be broken. And most men feel that way. So if that happened, if, if she was the one to leave him and then shortly afterwards, he comes out and says he wants to start transitioning because he feels he is in the wrong body. The the obvious the, the, the obvious simple solution there is he is deeply depressed because his wife just left him. I, I think it's at least a relevant conversation. And, and let me bring up why. So this is uh, from NPR uh, and from from this year. Transgender and non-binary people are up to six times more likely to have autism. That that would be an immediate red flag, okay? You have people with an obvious, very unique mental condition showing the highest rates of transitioning. But it gets worse. It actually gets worse. This is from the American Academy of Pediatrics. Disparities in childhood abuse between transgender and cisgender adolescents. Look at these numbers, okay? 73% of TGAs reported psychological abuse, 39% reported physical abuse, and 19 reported sexual abuse. Compared to heterosexual CGAs, TGAs had higher odds of psychological abuse, odd ratio 1.84, physical abuse, 1.61 and sexual abuse 2.04. Now, basically what that means is at the exact same time we've seen the recent explosion in people coming out as either non-binary or transgender, we've also seen that the majority of these people coming out uh, compared to the, you know their cisgender counterparts are reporting autism, psychological abuse, physical abuse, sexual abuse. If this was any other group of people, we would be pointing to the the abuse that they have suffered and the autism that they report to have. And, and actually, let me just be anecdotal here. How many of you have gone on Twitter or how many of you have trans friends who are on Twitter who also report to have things like bipolar disorder, ADHD, uh, a whole slew of other things that you probably were not even aware were real. So these are our most vulnerable people who are being told that, hey, the reason why you feel this way is just because you're born in the wrong body. But, you know, we, we can fix that. We can make all of these bad things in your life end and go away because once you're in, once you present the correct gender that you actually are, not, not the ones the doctors assigned to you at birth, then you will finally live a true and unique experience. Yeah, I, I think it's relevant to bring up that many of the people that are reporting to be transgender suffer from really unique uh, situations, either autism, other mental health problems, or just outright abuse. Again, any other community, we would point out that this is a massive red flag and maybe the reason why they're reporting these things is 
Maybe the reason why they're reporting to be transgender might actually just be related to the abuse that they suffered as children. And that maybe the proper thing to do would be to sit them down with a therapist and work through that abuse, not try to bury it, not try to cover it up, not try to just force it all down and instead hook them on to incredibly expensive medical procedures. So yeah, I, I think it's relevant to point out that, hey, right around the time he separated from his wife, he started to transition. You can't separate those two. Now, now that's how it's presented to the public, right? Perception is reality. It's, it's just relevant to at least point out that these things could be impacting his decision. And when I see the, because uh, because Sonny Vichu then shows comments from Chris's and Mr. Beast's community, some in support, some against but never forms a direct opinion on any of it. In one more heart than Carl because I'm a better friend. While his co-workers expressed positivity, others weren't so welcoming. There goes a father figure the kid won't ever be able to look up to. Hard times create strong men, strong men create good times, good times create weak men, and weak men create hard times. Weak man times. Chris responded to this comment by stating, this is just more dog whistling that somehow trans and GNC folks aren't safe around kids. Tucker begs for me to come back when I leave for like two days to film. He is so loved and happy. Kids aren't born with hate, it's taught by people like you, and my child will only know love. I know I'm going to be a great parent, and so is every other person who puts the love of their child before everything. I made this decision because I wanted to show up as my best and happiest self for him. In a way, this was for Tucker. Now, uh, again, Sunny V2 actually just displays more comments from people, some in agreement and some against that idea. However, look, I, I'm going to be real because my parents got separated when I was younger. Um, a few years after that fact, uh, I think it was maybe five or six, they, they eventually got back together. It was like one of the happiest days of my life, for instance. But my parents didn't get separated for us. My, my parents didn't get separated because, you know, they needed to live their best life in order to raise us properly. They got separated because they couldn't stand each other. <laughs> they, they, they got separated be, because they could not see eye to eye. And it was probably the right thing to do. OK, but I, I this idea that, you know, Chris is doing this, you know, for his son I disagree with that. I think typically anytime you get separated, you're doing that on more selfish reasons. Um, and there is no denying as much as you might want to that. Yeah, this is probably going to lead to Chris's kid getting bullied in some way. Um, but also it could lead to many people, uh, uh, you know, lifting up Chris's kid and be like, look, this is the child of a proud transgender parent. I mean, both of these things are, are perfectly acceptable realities. Um, in fact, both could happen at the exact same time. You have people complaining about it, people supporting it. That's how most things are, really. I just, I, I'm trying to, like, I'm struggling. I, I really am. Because people are talking about this video like Sunny V2 popped off, right? Like, like he did, who's who, who's the one uh, Daily Wire guy? It's either Matt Walsh or... Michael Knowles, one of those guys like made this uh, uh, statement during a speech where he's like, uh, we need to eradicate transgenderism uh, uh, from from the country or something. And I'm like, if, 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 Sonny, if Sonny B2 had put that in his video, just like that one comment, right? Regardless of any additional context, I'd be like, well, actually, I can understand the reaction. I, I really could. But so far... He, he hasn't actually presented an opinion. <laughs> That's a crazy thing. He, he So far, we're four minutes into the video, and all Sunny V2 has done is eight seconds in, say it could be bad, it could be good, and the rest has just been a factual explanation of events. So the transphobia must be deeper into the video. Let's keep playing. Chris's response received some positivity, such as, I'm convinced you're an amazing father. Tucker is lucky to have you and all. Oh shit, guys, sorry, no transphobia. Let me skip ahead a little bit. Around 
his house. There you go. There you go. J just comments. Comments from other people. Is this for him when you're depriving him of a father figure? Although Chris wasn't altered by these comments, as he'd once again reiterate his certainty in a new post reading, it's never too late to start being yourself, which received praise from Mr. Beast as well. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. None of this is transphobic. Let me skip ahead. We need to find more transphobia. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Mr. Beast is going to shut this man up. Hope you come out of this safe. Mr. Beast responded to this with a simple opinion irrelevant ratio to which the original commenter would state, I have 30 followers, so go ahead and ratio me. I'll still rest easy knowing that I'm not a coward who idly sits by watching my friend ruin his own life. And, and let me be clear, okay? Because I... I I don't know the backstory for Chris and the situation with his wife or the situation with his kid. But if if I find out that she left him, if I find out she's the reason why they separated and then he started to transition, you cannot separate those two events from each other. And it's a very real possibility that all of this is deep depression. And he's chasing this idea of being transgender because he's convinced it will make him happy which means that eventually down the line, Chris is going to realize that isn't true. And when Chris realizes it's not true, well, the, guys, this is a reason why your friends need to always be honest with you. Now, again, again, I'm going by the information available to the public. Maybe behind the scenes, Chris from day one has said that they were transgender uh, or that they felt more like a woman or, or whatever. Maybe that's true. Maybe that's the case. None of us know this, though. We would have to speculate and we would have to put all of these additional caveats of which we know nothing about in order to try to come to that conclusion. But but so far, yeah, man, I do think it's troubling if you tell me somebody just separated from the love of their life of which they have a baby with. And I see things like this and I see things like this. And I'm like, it's very likely that you're dealing with more of a social contagion issue than an actual, there's just a lot of people that are transgender issue. In some ways, it was nice to see the boys standing up for Chris on Twitter. However, the situation has already begun to change the dynamic within the videos. For example, in a recent live stream titled Opening a Thousand Mystery Art Boxes, Chris would once again dress in quite a feminine way. And while everybody participated as usual, the energy and vibe didn't feel nearly as smooth as it normally does. It felt Actually, um, let, why don't we go check that video really quick? Because I've got the like dislike thing on here too. Okay, uh, let's see. I, uh, look, I already know what the cope will be here. You're going to say that the only reason why it has so many dislikes is because all the transphobes flooded the video, right? Um, let's, uh, let, let's, let's just check some of these, okay? But, you know, it's not like they're all negative. Like, we need more Chandler, Nolan, Tariq, and Jimmy. And all honestly, Jimmy helps so many people, probably even off camera, but who's helping him? You can definitely see the change in Jimmy's energy. He's normally upbeat. Man, you just feel the energy is so different on this one. Hope you all figure things out. What, what guys, I, like, I'm not trying to be a dick here, okay? But they sound, maybe these are all just, again, just, just right-wing transos just showed up all of a sudden. But some of them are literally talking like they watch this stuff regularly. Um, now, I'm, I, I don't watch Mr. Beast live streams. I tried to go back into older content. And yeah, Chris is a completely different person. And I think most people understand that. So I don't know if that's just me seeing Chris like he was to seeing that dramatic change um, in such a short period of time. But uh, the, these people are saying the energy is different, okay? It is being dislike bombed. This is going to impact Mr. Beast's brand. Now, maybe it's a short-term impact, and maybe over time, it, it actually leads to way more support for Mr. Beast and his brand. But I'm trying to figure out where the fucking transphobia is! Seriously, where the fuck is it? At this point, at this point, I'm like five and a half fucking minutes into this accursed fucking video talking about this idiot transitioning. And I'm still trying to find the part where he gets trans fucking phobic. This is the worst video on YouTube. You know, I've seen a lot of the typical fucking commentary bros who have had the most absurd fucking brain rotted level fucking takes I have ever seen. Come out about what a bad person Sonny is. What a deep fucking transphobe Sonny V2 is. How dare Sonny V2 release a video like this. Cram it all up your ass. 
Find me the fucking clip. I've watched this video three fucking times, by the way. Look, try, try my hardest, you know, take, take my own head out of the equation to see the, the deep, unbridled transphobia. Five and a half minutes in, nothing. Just stating a fucking fact. Things that you can go to the video and see for yourself. Tell me where it is. Is it just him talking about it? Is it just him not affirming Chris? Not praising Chris and loving Chris? Explain it to me. Explain it to the stupid fucking Muslim. You people, and I, I know this is not specifically trans people or even their allies. It is the jackasses who run in to dislike bomb this shit, okay? And, and even the people that run in to dislike bomb this shit, okay? Which one of you are valid? Which one of you are, which way, which one of you should I be listening to? Should I go, well, Mr. Beast has a larger channel and he had 231,000 dislikes. Uh, Sunny B2 has is a smaller channel, but he did have 164,000 dislikes. Technically, the ratio of likes to dislikes is better on Sunny B2's video than it's on Mr. Beast's video. Does that mean Mr. Beast is wrong? Fuck you, people. No consistency. Nothing whatsoever. But so far, everything Sunny B2 has stated has been a tepid, lukewarm opinion at the very fucking first eight seconds. And then comments in support and against what is going on. And then, and then we jumped into him correctly pointing out that the fans of Mr. Beast's channel are saying that the energy feels off with the group as the video is being dislike bombed. Guys, head out of your ass. Explain it to me. It felt as though there was an unaddressed elephant in the room and therefore everybody was in their head as opposed to being in the present moment enjoying each other's company. Maybe everybody was simply too busy opening packages, but Chris did make these bizarre jokes about Jimmy being female, making him incredibly uncomfortable. Oh my God, Jimmy, look, they drew you. Jimmy, they drew you so well. It looks just like you. Oh, yes. Oh my god, it's Whoa. Jimmy. How did fan art This is what we were looking for. <laughs> be brave, be honest, be kind, Mr. Mr. Beast. That is my tagline. Becoming even weirder when each member started to pay each other compliments. Hey, nice shirt. Thanks, dude. Nice shirt. Hey, nice oh. shirt. Thanks, dude. Nice shirt. Thanks. Nice shirt. Nice shoes. For the most part, the live stream was devoid of awkward moments. However, it would act as fodder for another 100 million views. Uh, I, guys. Look, I'm, I'm sorry, these, these actually happen, okay? All right, reality isn't transphobic, it's just a bitch and it's slapping you repeatedly. I, I'm six and a half minutes in, okay? I'm six and a half minutes in. You have, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, let me be completely accurate here. We have two minutes and 41 seconds remaining for Sunny VTube to prove what a fucking transphobe he is and justify all of these unhinged batshit fucking takes on this video. His worth of drama and criticism. Chris likely believes that people will slowly adapt to his new appearance over time, but is this really going to happen? Well, maybe. It's difficult to say as the situation is fairly unique, especially when considering Chris's reputation and influence. However, if Chris continues to transition, would it be unreasonable to say that he could jeopardize some of the personality traits which made him a successful member in the first place? Perhaps the opposite will happen and he'll instead pick up new personalities personality traits that better resonate with the current Mr. Beast audience. You know what? Fuck you people. I, I, I've already watched this. I know that it doesn't happen. Okay. I know he doesn't become a transphobe. This is his part where he's actually giving his opinion and he's saying, hey, it could jeopardize the brand because Chris has built up a following based on who he used to be. And this new transition is going to risk that because he's lost a lot of those personality traits but maybe he will develop new unique ones that will be favorable for the fucking audience. How the fuck is that transphobic? I, I, I can't, man. This, is, this entire situation is just such an absurd fucking joke, okay? But it's so absurd, it's so brain rotted that you cannot tell me that you are actually treating trans people like they are people. You treated Chris like he is a fucking invalid. Supportive of Chris, who implied that there'll be millions of queer kids who look up to him, although this doesn't necessarily mean that it'll add any value to the videos. Mr. Beast has likely cultivated a massive LGBT audience, all of whom are already watching anyway. And if we've learned anything from Hollywood in recent 
years, it's that adding over the top LGBT characters for the sake of relatability rarely works as intended and is often nothing more than a distraction from the premise of the movie or video. Oh my god, w w was that him being transphobic? I'm sorry, I, I believe that there was like a, a gay love movie called Bros or Dudes or whatever. And and uh, they were like hyping this shit up because again, you know, everybody's accepting gay people now. And the movie completely fucking bombed, okay? And, and that was a movie that was actually tailor-made featuring these gay characters. The problem was the only personality that people knew about them was that they were gay. Um, now we can talk about like comic books and uh, you know how they've done like kind of offensive things, right? Bobby Drake, one of the original X-Men from from like I think the the when, when the X-Men come out the 60s, uh, having having a character read the mind of Bobby Drake transported into the future and revealing terror. Oh, oh, he's gay. He, he's he's just gay now. Uh, or or or, or uh, even more recently. Uh, Tim Drake, Robin, uh, who's been uh, with Stephanie Brown for for decades, uh, deciding that, oh, now he's bisexual. And the entire comic book is just about the relationship with his boyfriend. I I can I can do comic books. OK, we, we can talk about movies and everything. But yeah, I, I think uh, at one point it was pointed out, uh, was it DC? Like in their comic book lineup, over half of the characters identify with uh some sort of uh, uh queer group either lesbian gay bisexual um and and more recently more trans characters being introduced that's that's not even close to parody with society that's not even close that is that is overblowing it so yeah i'm sorry it's, it's objective truth and, and if you are upset by that comment it's not even transphobia i think you'd say it's it's homophobia uh but again then you're just arguing reality is homophobic do that scream it on top of this it can be uncomfortable and unrelatable for the silent majority although as we have seen a situation like chris's does have the potential to create an otherworldly amount of discussion which could be seen as a benefit for the mr beast brand drama is good for growth 100 percent. that would be an easy way to up my so piece you're if a I got it. guys there you go. There's the flip side of it that it could really be good for the channel. And and here's the thing, um, you know, Mr. Beast was doing the charity stuff, right? And you had people run to Twitter uh, to, to bitch about him doing charity, right? B bitch about him helping cure people's blindness, for instance. And there were articles written about it. it. Now you have articles being written about Mr. Beast that are incredibly positive because, you know, he's he's good friends with this person's transition and he's treating them like they're like, like his friend. Right. He's still having them included in the content and everything. So, you know, that, that's just seen as a positive discussion. Um, even even people like Sunny V2 making a video on it, or even or even this video, even any discussion on Twitter just brings more relevance back into the Mr. Beast brand. You just have to hope that there that there is no backlash, or that that backlash is drowned out by all of the positive press that you get. I personally don't know. Okay, I really don't know what the makeup of Mr. Beast audience actually is. But I, I know that there are plenty of people in the LGBTQ that I see retweeting Mr. Beast like charity stuff. So obviously the guy has a very diverse audience already. Um, it, I mean, yeah, he's probably not going to have that big of an impact, uh, you know, but maybe, maybe, maybe it all is positive. But Sunny VTube is, is, is presenting that information to you in the video where you're claiming he's being fucking transphobic. What the fuck? The problem is this type of situation is probably the last thing that Mr. Beast wants to attract as he's forced to agree with Chris's position as he has no way of manipulating the situation without being painted as the bad guy. It's a lose-lose situation for Mr. Beast. I think Jimmy is in an inescapable situation. If he kicks out Chris, cancelled. If he don't, his channel will die for real. An inescapable situation is a pretty good way of describing the drama, which is also why it deserves the harsh label of being a nightmare. Jimmy has no option but to publicly express acceptance of Chris's transition, as silence or even worse disapproval would come with obvious severe repercussions. Oh, 
Oh, was that it? Did I have to sit through this entire video to get to that segment? Is is that the moment where he became a transphobe because he 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 said the thing that he just said about how um, Mr. Beast is trapped in that situation and can only support Chris? Guys, I'm sorry. It's true. Sunny V2 made a very tepid fucking take and look at the dogpiling he got. Uh, hey, let me point you out to a fucking trans ally who regularly tells people to stop, stop saying bad things about trans people, support trans people, sold out his own fucking uncle over, over the, the issue of calling women uh, uh, birthing people. Only reason why I, I'm not playing this game and I know a bunch of other people are not playing this game is because we know that it's not worth it to get fucking bullied endlessly and called transphobic endlessly in, in, in when we have massive uh, queer communities and audiences. That's it. Everybody, everybody knows. Everybody fucking knows how much leftist motherfuckers love to chirp on the internet. They got no power. All they do is chirp, chirp, chirp. And that's precisely why so many fucking people that would otherwise like play it, maybe even raise money for, uh, you know, charities or whatever. Um, you know, they're, they're not doing it. I knew that this was going to happen. That's why I wanted to set it up ahead of time. I got fucking yelled at, uh, endlessly and relentlessly, uh, on my alt account. Like they were making it seem like I was already transphobic for even thinking about this. I'm sorry. Reality is so goddamn upsetting to you people. Okay, I'm terribly fucking sorry, but Hassan is, and I'm, I'm sure he would say proudly, an ally to the trans community, okay? Because even after this, he still started shitting on anybody playing the game. But even he had to acknowledge that there is outright overt bullying from the trans community and their allies if you step out of fucking line. So if this guy points out that Mr. Beast is actually stuck in a situation where he not only has to affirm Chris, but also has to be overtly supportive of Chris, you can't get fucking mad when you outright bully people into supporting your causes. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I do, do. Do you really need me to pull up the fucking tweet from Keffels, right? Uh, <laughs> Keffels, where she outright says that she can bully people in the sport of the trans community, and the thousands of likes from the trans community on the tweet. Guys, I, I'm I'm so done with this. I am so fucking done with this. You, bull you, you bully people into support and then get mad if somebody says he's being forced to support you. Because you're bully! Like, <laughs> god damn! No, we're the real victims! Our lives are at risk! Cheese genocide! <laughs> Bitch, I'm a Muslim. I did 9-11 terror attacks. I literally got chased down the street by people. You have every single major corporation coming out in support of you. Watch the intro to this video. You have the police won't fucking arrest you. You have your universities who will side with you when you attack people. You're not under, you're not under oppression. Holy fuck. You're demanding overt rights and privileges for yourselves over other individuals. And when you don't get your way, you get violent. God damn. Holy fuck, man. This is embarrassing. This is such a massive embarrassment. Not, not, not for, not for Sunny VTube, not for YouTubers. No, but for the entire existence of fucking humanity. We are terrified of just stating the truth. We are terrified of just living in reality. However, in accepting Chris's transition, Jimmy implies that this will be the new normal within the content, thus annoying a different group of people, many of whom will never express their true feelings and may rather simply click on fewer Mr. Beast videos. If this is the case, Jimmy has no option but to accept this fate, as removing Chris from the videos in any kind of way could create an even more severe media firestorm. The only clean solution- Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Are you really gonna deny that that's 
true. Please, please deny it. Keep denying reality. Keep screaming that reality is transphobic and homophobic and the entire world just wants to see you get genocided as every single major corporation, uh, the fucking White House, and, and most police forces in major cities will be at your fucking beck and goddamn call. It's, it's a joke. This is garbage. This is trash. And, and to be clear, again, after after the years of of harassment that I received, after people calling my home, you know, threatening to murder me and my father, okay, after the many public beatdowns that I would get, eventually things changed, and eventually uh, uh, the the Muslims uh, started to be lifted up, right, as this oppressed minority. And one thing I, I noticed was people were just apprehensive. Right. They didn't want to say anything to upset Muslims because deep down there was that fear that we were everything that they believed that we were. We were going to like, you know, self immolate in a, in a very public format around other individuals. If you catch my drift, look at the trans community. They're not doing this because they have any actual respect for them. They're doing it because they're convinced if they don't, you'll off yourself and they'll feel guilty. So you bully people, you emotionally blackmail people into support, and you wonder why. You wonder why. I, I can't. I can't. I absolutely can't. So if this video upset you, um, drop a comment. Uh, uh, I'll probably reply to it, and uh, we'll just continue this cycle of anger and hate for eternity. But now, in all reality, this video did, did literally nothing wrong. The opinions in it are very lukewarm, right? He points out that it could be bad. It could also be good. He points out exactly why it could be bad and exactly why it could be good. And this is seen as offensive to the trans community. If that's the case, there is literally no way of treating a trans person the way you would treat any other individual because I guarantee you, Sunny V2 has 3.38 million subscribers and he uploads content like this all the time. Obviously, it only matters to you if he talks about somebody that is trans. So you do not treat trans people like you treat any other human being. And the reason why is because you wanna be inclusive, you wanna be supportive, and you are outright fucking terrified that if you don't, you will either A, be canceled, or B, that person will in some way self-harm, and you'll feel guilty. Fucking knock it off.